Now we'll do the vertical mattress. So on this one, we're going to side. We'll, we will start on the side farthest from us, um, and we're going to take a little bit bigger bite than we normally would. And then we'll exit on the side closest to us. And we'll pull and leave about two, two inches. Now we're gonna redirect our needle to enter the side closest to us. And we're gonna enter directly over top of where we previously exited. And then we'll exit on the side that we previously entered. And now again, my short and long end are on the same side, but we're gonna do that surgeon's knot and we'll go back and we'll tie exactly like we did with all of our other ones. So we're gonna just kind of shimmy it until it lays nice and flat, not making it too tight. and then two square knots. And then cut. And cut. So now you're gonna have a vertical line on one side of your incision and a knot on the other. This is an interrupted pattern we're going to enter on the side farthest from us, exit on the side closest to us. Reload the needle. Enter on the side closest to us, exit on the side farthest from us. and do a surgeon's knot. And two square knots. And cut. Now to remove your vertical mattress patterns, you're just gonna cut on the side closest to you. So that's gonna be the side that you don't have a knot. And then with our thumb forceps, we would extract those sutures. And that is your vertical mattress pattern.